if, if you will, compassion is fueled by connection. The two are inseparable. You see, the word compassion literally means to stoop down onto someone else's level. Imagine getting down to your, on a knee with a child, looking them eye to eye, seeing the world through their perspective. That's the definition of the word compassion. And so when I see somebody in distress, if, if I look at them in the eye, if I get down and I'm looking at the world through their eyes, okay, then I begin to understand their problem, their challenge, whatever it is they're facing. If I'm angry with someone because they have sinned against me and, and my anger is righteous, okay, if I show compassion when I get down and I see the world through their eyes, I try to understand the problem, what, what went wrong. I try to understand it through their eyes. That, that is what compassion is. And the stronger the connection between us, the better and more able compassion is to flow. And if you go to the Bible, you see this. You see the idea that compassion is all about connection. And God himself is this, this most beautiful, most perfect picture of compassion. He's the author of compassion. And so it's no surprise that if you look, you see that God is involved with, if you will, connected to humanity from the very beginning. And that's the source of where all of his compassion comes from. God is compassionate. You say, well, David, that's not all God is, and that's absolutely true. Is God all powerful? Absolutely. Is God all present? Absolutely. Is God all knowing? You better believe it. Absolutely. Is God righteous? Absolutely. Is he a righteous judge? Absolutely. Is God compassionate? Absolutely. He really, really is. So our all-powerful, all-knowing, ever-present, perfectly righteous God cares deeply about you, and he cares deeply about me, and he cares deeply about the poor, and the foreigner, and the widow, and the fatherless, and the orphan. And if you're a Christ follower, you're a child of God. You're to imitate your father. And God is a, uh, is a God of great compassion, so that means that we are to be people of what? Great compassion. We can't be imitators of God if we don't imitate God in his compassion. Can't be done. And so it's incumbent on us to show great compassion ourselves because God himself is greatly compassionate. Now, if you look at scripture, you see this truth over and over again. And y'all, it's just a mandatory part of what it means to be a Christ follower. But let me ask you this. Is it easy to show compassion to other people? Is it easy if, if compassion means that I stoop down to someone else's level and I see the world kind of through their eyes, is that easy to do? I would submit it's not easy to do. If it was easy, we'd see a whole lot of different behaviors in our world today. We'd see a lot more compassionate people, would we not? Showing compassion is really difficult, and it occurs to me that there are a lot of barriers that prevent us from showing compassion. And you, if you were here, you could probably make your own list of what those barriers are. But as I think this through, two barriers just that I see in my own life just jumped out at me. And maybe you see these barriers in your life. For me, I think first and foremost, one of the greatest barriers there is for me in showing compassion is the, the barrier of indifference. Frankly, you all, so often I just don't see when people are hurting. Here's what I want you to do. This week, slow down and look at people through the eyes of compassion, okay? Just don't give yourself the opportunity to be indifferent. So when you see the person stand at the street corner and your natural reaction is go, you see that guy, honey, that guy should get a job because I've worked for everything that I have and see what I have, I have all of this. If that guy would get a job, he could be just like me. I am just offended by his need. Don't give yourself the chance to go there. Just don't. Look at the world through his eyes and just ask yourself for a moment, what would it be like to spend Thursday afternoon standing by this street corner? and just look at it a little bit differently. Maybe for you, that indifference comes to forgiveness. And somebody has done something to you and your righteous indignation is righteous. They deserve your wrath. But aren't you glad that God has chosen to be compassionate to us? 
Aren't you glad that he's slow to anger? And so when you encounter that person this week, slow down and set aside the indifference and just say to yourself, I'm going to look at this person with great compassion. That's what I'm going to do. And just make a choice to live a little differently. And you'll overcome that barrier of indifference. There's another barrier that I see. It's at work in my own life, and I see it in, just, just in general in the lives of a lot of folk. And that is the barrier of division. <laughs> Are we not just a deeply divided people right now as a country? We've talked about it a lot in church. People are separated by their views on, like, everything right now. I mean, people can't agree on much. People are separated by their views on race. People are separated by their views on politics, on their views of education, on their views on COVID response. You name it, people are divided, and that, that division is bitter, and it's intense, and we have all seen it just playing out on our big screens and small screens. You name it, we've seen it. And how do we respond to that? What, if, if I'm going to be a person who reflects the compassion of God to others, if that's what I'm supposed to do, how do I deal with that within the context of all the division? So here's what I want you to do this week, okay? When you're out and about and you encounter somebody who is a fellow Christ follower, you treat them like family. But when you meet somebody who has a completely different value set, they're not yet a part of the body of Christ, okay? And you know they don't know Jesus. And they say things that just kind of rake you over the coals. You know, it's just, uh, okay. When you see that person coming, here's what I want you to think in your mind as you see them coming. And you feel that first little bit of uh, angst coming up in your heart. In your mind, just say, as you see them walking toward you, just say, hey, neighbor. Let's practice it right now, okay? Everybody, hey, neighbor. Just think that in your mind. And as they come near you, what have you done? You've given yourself a point of connection with that person. And when you're connected with somebody, compassion is a whole lot easier to demonstrate. I'm going to be compassionate. I'm going to show the love of Christ. I'm going to love my neighbor as myself. Can you imagine the impact that that would have on the world in which you live every single day all right so can you do that this week i'm going to set aside indifference i'm going to set aside division and i'm going to show the compassion of jesus christ this week one more little thing here if you're here today and you have never considered the compassion of god if you have no idea what it means to be loved by a heavenly father I want you to know that he is inviting you into a close and intimate and personal relationship with him right now. That invitation is good right now. And your heavenly father would say to you, come to me, I will forgive you of your sin, I will put your path, your feet on a path that is straight, I will renew you, I will refresh you, I will make you new, and I will adopt you into my family. And if you've never experienced that, Let's talk together today when we're done. Let's pray. Father, we love you. Thank you so much for your compassion. Thank you that your mercies never end. They are new every single day. And you call us, Lord. You command us to imitate you. And if we're going to imitate you, then that means we've got to be people of great compassion just as you are. So, Lord, as we are indifferent, forgive us. Help us to see the world through the eyes of those that we encounter. And Father, where we are divided and as that interferes with our uh, capacity to imitate you and show compassion, forgive us. Help us to see the world as those who are part of our family through Christ or those who are our neighbors who desperately need to know Christ. Thank you, Father, for loving us and for showing us compassion every single day. For your mercies are good and they are new every morning. We pray this in the great name of Jesus Christ. And everyone agreed and said... Amen.